hello everyone in this video I am going to show you how to create a crude application in Laravel using Laravel Sanctum so for that I created a basic Laravel project Laravel API crude using the composer create project project and Laravel slash Laravel and then the Laravel project name so in this case it is uh, Laravel API crude after that I change my directory to that and then I install Laravel breeze using the command composer require Laravel and breeze Laravel slash breeze so this will install Laravel breeze we are using breeze for installing Laravel sanctum which comes with uh, Laravel breeze and give us some some ability the ability to create APIs and after that I publish the uh, Laravel Sanctum migration if you type PHP artisan vendor publish it will show you the Laravel Sanctum migration file here all you need is just type 19 and then hit enter it will publish this, that migration and it will be right here if you go to migrations database migration and here is the personal access uh, access token migration so this is created by this uh, vendor publish so after that let's get started I will uh, let's configure the environment variable that env file so the name should let's say the name is that let's uh, uh, change this to low 127.0.0.1 8000 port and let's configure the database connection so database name in my case is Laravel I will put my credentials which is the so CSMAN and the password is password I will save this and let's migrate the steps I will type php artis and migrate I will type uh, press because I already have some tables in this migration so I'll let them to migrate and now it is migrating so what we are going to do is that we are going to first let the user to uh, user will be able to register and after that we want to the user to be able to log in user and after that we will go to the the crude system so we will take product as entity and we want we will create a migration for this and as well as model and then we will create controller for this and we will do product crude operations right here so first thing first let's do the work for registering the user so we are working on api and we need something to communicate between the server and the host so and the client so let's start the development server let's start it and we need to do connect uh, communication so for that I will create HTTP file for that I have already installed an extension which is a rest client which allows me to which allows me to send API request which is somewhere right here rest client it says we can use this to send uh, API requests uh, inside our VS Code. So, for this, we need to create that HTTP or that uh, REST file extensions. So, install this, and all you need is just create that uh, HTTP or that REST file extension file. So, for that, let's create, uh, let's say, HTTP folder inside. Let's create register underscore user dot http here we will write code for registering the user so currently we don't have anything so let's uh, create a request and let's see how it is going to look so we will create post request which will be pointing to the http colon colon slash one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one and eight thousand four the url will be api slash register and for headers you will we will have to two headers except application json 
and we will content type also to application JSON and then for registering the user we need to for send data so we will send name let's put the name we will send email let's put the email and at test.com we will set password uh, let's say password is this and we will send password confirmation for confirming the password and this will be also password now I will save this file we can send this file because we have dot uh, rest uh, extension installed risk client extension installed because uh, of that the request option is out here if we send this it is going to show us the result in this case we received for 22 unprocessable content and something so now we need to create a route for this so we'll go to api.php route file which is inside the routes right here routes and api.php now here let's get route for the user registration so this will be first request and we will be uh, the URL will be slash register register and the controller would be let's create controller so I'll go back to my terminal and I will zoom it a little bit and I will type hprtson make controller let's say api slash auth controller it's this to be in the offer case controller and hit enter a controller created so we will be pointing to the auth controller and this should auto complete that here yeah. and inside we will create a method with name of register let's close this one and let's create that one go there let's create a register method so public this should be auto complete yeah uh, register and this is post request so we will use request which is imported right here http request and dollar request and here first we will validate the input request so uh, request validate and the peers or name which is required and then the email which is required and it should be email and it should be unique of users table the column name is email except id and after that we will put the password which is required and let's say confirm should be confirmed and let's say min let's let's leave that after this we will create user so say does the user equals user user model or uh, imported right here and create we will let's put this way name will be the request of name and email will be dollar request of email and password will be uh, request password and it should be be crypted so we will use be crypt method and pause this so that's it after this we will need to create uh, we are because we are using uh, api so we will need to create access token for this user so for that 
we can use dollar dollar user of create let's say something like token token equals dollar user which is going to be created user and we will call create token method which will look something like this and here we can pass the token name so let's say or token or user token let's say user token and then we will send response back to the user so return response of json we will put some data so let's uh, return the token which is dollar token and this will be a base uh, base 64 uh, sha256 encrypted so we need the plan text so we will say plan text token something like this plan text token and after that let's pass the status comma here and status I think we can directly pass 200 and I will save this and let's migrate the stops so I will back to my terminal I'll type PHP RTS and migrate. I think I, I already have done this, so uh, let's send a request and see if we are getting any error. So I will click on send, and let's see what result we are getting. The fossil confirmation does not match, and this confirmation. This is fine, I think. Let's see. Let's remove this. Let's see if we are getting the again this error. It says the name field is required, email is required, password field is required. Here we are passing the required data and it says the email in password period is required which means we the data is not passed. So let's send again and let's save this file. Let's rewrite these and let's say name. I will write this quickly. Name is Tawseed, I'll say Tawseed, and email is Tawseed at test.com, and finally the password is password. Let's say password. Let's send this request. And it's still not working. There seems to be a problem with the wrist client. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> it was loading right here. So it says the password confirmation feed is required. So we, we are saying here the password should be confirmed. So let's confirm that. And the HTTP password underscore confirmation. Confirmation and it is password and I will save this request send this request and why this is not working unprocessable password confirmation this is a problem with the rest client not with our code let's say this again and send the request let's close this send request password confirmation does not match 
and we are passing the same password and again it says the password confirmation does not match let's see if we have to have this correct password is confirmed and it is required and we are passing it right here and let's send the request again this takes more time it's loading so let's close this file and open it again the risk client uh, is a better option but sometimes it makes it does not work as you want so here everything is fine we want to confirmation the spelling is correct password and password let's change this to something else oh. password let's say one two three four five six save and request send throws the validation error Let's restore the server if that worked. The risk client does not work. <laughs> Let's write these again. Let's remove the password. <coughs> I will send a request and say the password confirmation does not even I don't have the password right here. So let's actually enable and disable this risk client extension. Yeah, and throw something else now. Let's say password is password and password confirmation. Confirmation is password, and I will save this. Send request. and it worked i think it says the undefined property plan text so i think the plan text has some issue that is plan text p l a i n so let's send request again uh, register user dot http and let's wait for the response and takes some time let's send again it says email already exist and let's change email to this one and send request and here we go we got the token so this mean our registration part is now completed now let's move to the login so I will close this I will create another HTTP file let's say login underscore user dot HTTP and here we will write code for logging the user for sending API request for logging the user so it will be post request and I should auto fill the URL is HTTP colon slash slash one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one and eight thousand four and the URL is API slash login log in and the header for this will be the same as the previous one which is content type and accept and we will pass that and in the registration we will passing two things email and password so let's say email is we will be checking the existing user email let's try this copy this one and paste right here this will be the login user email and then password 
so the password will be th that password which is password again now let's uh, if we send this it will throw an error because we don't have a route so let's send this to see uh, what error we are seeing here as you can see we got some error 404 not found let's create a route for this so it will be this we just copy this and log in and the method is login let's go back to the regis out uh, out controller here we will create another method and this will be public login and this will also be http request dollar request here first we will validate the things the input fields which includes email email and this will be required and it should be valid email and we will pass we will validate the password field which will be password required and let's uh, set this to equal now that's it we validated the things the input fields now let's uh, check if the user exists so for that i think we can do auth check auth attempt attempt and here we will pass the input fields so we can create array which will be email which finds to the request Re let's close this tag so that we have a more be a more room request of email and then password let's move this to the next line password which is a request of password and i think that's it now let's after logging the user uh, after checking the attempt we will need to create the access token for this user so let's do that say the, the other token equals auth of user and create token create token and we will name it let's say user token as we did in the registration and after that we will return response with the token access token so re return response of json because it is api request and inside we passed here the token so i think the best way is to pass three things instead of just token the first one will be success which will we will set to true because and then message we will set success to true because the user uh, the login successfully we will set message let's say log in success and then the data or let's say the data is currently the the uh, this token so this will be such a 256 form encrypted so we will uh, pass the plan text plan text token and save this and let's try to log in with this user which we created previously so let's send this request and see if this works fine and email already exists this seems to be the registration form here let's go to login here and let's send the request with the credentials of email and password and we are finding to the api slash login route send request and response has undefined property plan text token again some error some issue with the token Let's close this and out controller in here 
plan text token this seems to be fine we are setting token to let's instead of data let's say token and token of plan text token and new access token plan text token pen it is plan text token sorry i wrote this wrong two times i will send a request for lagging again let's send request this is yeah here we go we are successfully log in so now this is our token so we can use this as a barrier token and we can do any authenticated stops in this so we will use this token for the basic root system which will be a product and stuff like that so let's go for that now we have the token so we can use this token for uh, doing authenticated stuff so let's close this one and this one as well let's uh, create another for let's create for stay uh, model so what we are going to do is we are going to create a product model where we will be storing the name and details of the product so let's create migration model so let's create a php artisan mac model name is be product and create migration as well and let's go to database migrations product uh, table let's create appeal for table of string which will store the name of the product and another for table of text because it will be big amount of data so let's say details and let's save this now let's migrate this so php artisan migrate it is migrated let's go to let's set this to playable in the product model go to product or on place product model a product model let's set those to free protected fillable property equals name and details save this file now let's go to let's create HTTP file for that dot HTTP file so I'll go to back to that let's create another folder for that so product slash let's say create uh, product dot HTTP here, here we will be sending request for creating a product so the request will be post and let's say the URL for that will be http colon slash slash one two seven dot zero dot zero dot phone colon eight thousand four and FEI let's say in the the URL or the route for that will be product product and here we will pass header so this will be the same as the other ones content type and application JSON and accept application JSON so we are receiving and sending uh, JSON type data so that's why we are writing this sending this header and here we will pass the name and details of the product so the name is uh, let's say product one one and details will be this is product number one and so on so these will be the name in the product we will soon send post request to this so let's go to that and create create uh, route for that so we will be using uh, this will be authenticated only authenticated users will be able to do this so we will create a group of middlewares like this so let's say middleware the same as this so let's copy this sync tom 
authenticated by Sanctum. So close the tags and this will be group group passing a function and here we will create route api resource route we can create api resource and here we will pass the url so it will be product and the controller name so let's create controller for that it will be php artisan make controller product controller and it will be api resource controller so tag tag api will create api resource controller there is some, some error so let's say what is the error route so see we call on what missed let's execute again and we created controller now let's set that right here it is product controller which is class and here we don't need to pass uh, square uh, brackets because it is api resource controller and all the methods will be right here so in order to check uh, check uh, which routes or exist which api we can uh, which request we can call we can do this and view all the details using php artisan route list command which will show all the routes so here they are uh, api product which is which points to the index and we are interested currently in this one we will send api slash product uh, we will send post request you can see here post request to api slash product uh, url which will be pointing to the store method so let's do it we will go to the store method and inside product controller so let's go here store method is right here so first thing first we will validate so request of validate name and details will be validated at is required details which will be also required and then we will create product so product app model product model and then create so here we will pass name as request of name and the details as details as request of details and then that's it we created now let's set that to product variable for case product now if it is created then we will send response success response so f dollar product and we will send return response of json json and here we will pass three data success to two and message to product created product created successfully successfully and the actual product comma we put comma right here and data will be currently created product so after this uh, if, if it is not created then we will respond that something went wrong and so, uh, something like that so if this uh, if commands come to inside this app condition then this will be executed and the command will never come right here so if it is not created then we will set success to false and product does not create it let's say does not create it successfully let's remove it and then we will set to product as product so let's say and let's remove data because there will be no data if there if it is not created so let's go back to uh, that http file create product and here it is okay let's send the request and see if we are getting some errors so it is says unauthenticated because we uh, we didn't set the the 
token that we get so let's log in again I will go to login user dot HTTP I will send request with these credentials here is my token I will copy this and I will go back to the pro create product dot HTTP here I will set the header which is authorization I will set it to barrier and here I will paste the token now if I save this and send request again let's see what is going to happen so it is loading and it says product created successfully that's mean we successfully uh, done the insertion part we created the product successfully success message the the message and then we are receiving the data so let's do the show one we another HTTP request for showing all the data or all the fields from that so let's say show underscore all underscore products dot HTTP CTP file because we are using risk client to send our request and uh, let's set uh, let's but then for this we will be sending for get request so request of get to HTTP colon slash slash one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon eight thousand four and we will be setting content type and authorization token so I will copy this form here and paste it right here because this is uh, using uh, we pass uh, the middleware which is sanctum with need authentication barrier authorization for that so if I save this now we don't have any setup over there so we can see inside uh, the route list for showing all the data we can use the index method and we can send get request to the API slash product URL and we will do it right here and API slash product now inside the controller which is product controller inside the index method we will de define what we need to re retrieve so let's say dollar products product let's directly return it so uh, return response response of json we will need to return this return uh, json type data set success to true we will pass the message to products and then the data actual data which will be product of for now let's say all and i will save this and let's send the request i will go to uh, show all products dot php i will get send i will send get request and here we got products and here we have one product let's add another product to see if this works fine i will come here i will just add this to product 2 and this is product 2 and blah 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 i will save this send request and let's wait for the response because it uh, the risk client is sometimes takes some time to receive the response and now we saw the success which is set to true and product created successfully and now if we go back to the index we will see two products right here so we can use uh, front end uh, stops to view these products now the the create we are doing crude so we did two parts now the update and delete or let's so let's do that as well now let's set the api crew uh, system for the deleting the product so i will create another http file let's say delete underscore product dot http and here we will write the delete method we will be sending inside here we see that uh, the delete method right here which calls the destroy method in the api resource controller which is product controller in our case so we will be sending a delete request and we will finding api product and we will passing the product id here and we will be uh, doing the 
code for de destroying the product inside product dot destroy method so let's uh, set delete method and the URL is HTTP colon slash slash one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon eight thousand four and the URL is API slash product so we will pass that and here instead of product we will pass the product ID so but now let's delete the first one and we will set the authorization token and all the headers I will copy this copy and delete product and I will paste it right here I will save this now let's uh, uh, set the destroy method inside product controller so I will go here inside destroy we are receiving the ID which you passed there so let's uh, uh, try to delete the product so for that I will set let's say product product equals we can directly delete this using find or pal method let's first find the product using that ID so product and find with that ID so if that exists sorry if the product with that ID exists in our database then we gonna delete this so product we will call the delete method directly here so now it is deleted so now we need to send success response we will return response of JSON type and here we will pass uh, the three variables right uh, which the first one will be success which will be set to true and the next one is message and uh, we will say product deleted successfully and the next one will be let's say data and we will set this to the product that we deleted and if this not happen if we didn't find the product then we will set we will send response back with the JSON type and here we will pass success to false because we did not successfully deleted the product so success to false message to something like product does not found and the product does not found I think does not delete it let's say deleted you can do it you can write it anything you want but it should be uh, formal so we will set the data we will not set the data because let's uh, set uh, we will not set the data because we don't find the product so let's send request and see what happen so we were sending delete request let's send the request and product delete successfully because uh, that's mean we deleted the product let's show all the products and see if we have the id number one product and our list and FIV we just have product ID number two because the first one is deleted and that the delete porting part is done now we will go for the update so let's do it creating a file HTTP file update product dot HTTP and here we will write the code so for update we have if we go back to our uh, route list API resource controller we have two ways to do this put or patch request which will be pointing to the api slash product and in the product id and we will be sending patch request that mean the id as well as the http request so and we will do the update thing uh, stops in the inside product controller in update method so let's set up the request method i will send patch request and the url is http colon slash slash one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon air thousand four and the url is product slash api slash product and we will set the product id so for now we have just one product let's set id to two we will update this product and we will pass our headers 
authorization and accept and content type so I will copy it from there and paste it right here we are sending patch request so we will set the data that we want to update so for the I will change the name to something product uh, in let's say and we will set we will update the details to some sorry to something like this is just our test uh, product details let's say and that's it now let's go to the controller product controller destroy uh, update method right here we are getting two things HTTP request and ID so first we will check for the ID then we will validate uh, the HTTP request or let's say let's uh, first validate the let's uh, uh, do it any way we want so we can uh, do the validation post or we can check the, pro the product with this ID so let's first check for the, this product so uh, product equals inside the product uh, model which is uh, here and we will search for that find and I will pass the ID and if this product exists I will set product if the product exists then validate I think we can do the validation right here as well so validate the request and set the name as required and details details not detail to required as well and after this check if the product with that ID exist if exists then let's update the product let the with the HTTP request data that we got using HTTP request so we can do this using product of name will be equals to the request of name and the same thing for the details details will be that now let's save the product so we will do product of we will call the save method and that's it now we will send return response success response to the user so response and of type json here we will pass three things success to true message to product updated successfully and the actual product updated product so which is product this one and if this not happens then we will return success false so return response of type json and set the success to false and the message to let's say product not found or product uh, not updated does not updated you can write any message you want it does not matter so and the data let's does not send any data because the, the success is false so that's it uh, I think now let's save this file and send request to see if we can update this uh, product number two to the name product two to product n so I will send request and client circuit disconnected before what is going to happen I will save the file again I got some errors HTTP client is saying before secure TLS connection was established so we are doing the stops locally don't need to TLS and stuff like that let's close the files I will close this one and let's send request again error let's set this to we have two ways to do this so we have 
foot method and page method so let's try the foot method if this works fine I will set the request to foot and I will send request it is loading I think no it says connect uh, client network socket disconnected before TLS so this client how I can fix this manage extension let's disable and enable again enable enable so let's do it again uh, for our, let's set this bad to patch sorry save send request let's close and restart the visual studio code so I will type code period and it is going to open that VS code in the current project and we will send rest client HTTP request to our target URL oh we are setting HTTPS right here that's why it was saying it L A HTTP uh, TCP TLS connection <laughs> does not establish so I really beg sorry for that I will say remove the S from the HTTPS and I will send the request so let's wait for the product to be updated and we got it we successfully updated the product ID number 2 so that's the complete crude I think we did the user uh, registration and then login and then creating the let's uh, I think we will to one which is to show single product so let's say uh, show underscore single underscore product dot HTTP HTTP and I will copy this because we will need uh, some of the code in that one so I will copy this and let's go back to show single product dot HTTP I will pass that code we will be sending get request I think we can show see it right uh, somewhere uh, right here show yes we we will be using this one we can use git or head request post method uh, request method and we will be pointing to this we will pass the ID instead of product so API slash product and then slash ID so with get request so we will see the, we only have one product we will use the ID number two and we don't need any body because we are not sending HTTP request so now let's go back to the controller product controller and we will set the show method which is still empty all we will do here is to just look for the product product equals product uh, product 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 of why it is not auto completing product and it is waiting let's uh, the product here model product and then look for the ID that we have it should be lowercase i and if it exists and you know what have what we have to do so and the product yeah if the product exists then all you need is to return that product uh, so we will set return or is fonts to of type JSON and we will set success to true because we found the product and we will set message to uh, let's say product single product product we have single product and then we will set the data to the actual product that we have uh, found in our database and if this not happens then we will send false request I will pass this remove the space success to false and product uh, message should be for no, no, product not found found and remove the data now that's it let's uh, show this in the using HTTP REST client so I will send a request and it is uh, loading so let's wait for this to load the product I with ID number two and if this happens then we will uh, we have 
then successfully uh, completed the whole crude operation of the product uh, product controller so let's send another request it says waiting and success to true product product and here we go we successfully created the single product from the database so that's it we did these things we created the product we delete the product we show all the product from the index method we show the retrieve the single product we updated the product and we log in and register the user so that's it i think that's it for this video make sure to like and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one and yes this code will be available on github if you get stopped and get some errors uh, so feel free to check out this code on github on my profile so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one